Hey everybody, this is Bill McCown from Synergist Technologies in Quakertown. Here with another tips and tricks for 3D Studio Max 2013. Today I'd like to go over a command called Bevel Profile. Uh, it's a great little command for doing uh, things like uh, raised panels on cabinets, uh, wainscoting, like seen in this rendering here. Uh, the white wood panels between the uh, baseboard and the chair rail. So this is what we're going to recreate uh, these panels here. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is go to the front viewport and create a 2D rectangle. And I'm just going to make this thing 16 by 29 inches. That was the size of my original panel in that rendering. And now what I want to do is I'm going to use this for my path. So I'm actually going to rename this reference path. One of the things I like to do is create a reference layer to put things on. And I already have one here, so I just want to make sure that this gets put on reference layer. So just click on this. Now I've got that on reference layer. I may as well actually set reference layer at the same time. Okay, so now I need a profile to run around this. It's a lot like a loft. I'm going to go out. Now, I could draw this in Max. I could bring this in from AutoCAD or draw it in AutoCAD and import it. I already have some out here on my hard disk, so I'm going to just merge in a Max file here. This molding profiles contains a bunch of different moldings. I'm going to bring them all in. Hit OK. Okay, so there's my moldings up here in my top viewport. And this is the one I want to use right here. So I'm just going to rename this reference profile one. It already is renamed that. It is, let's take a look at this. It is just a six inch long profile. It's got a little relief, um, a round over, a little flat there, a little notch, uh, chamfer, and then it comes out to the top of the panel. So this is going to be a cross section through our actual panel here. So one thing I want to do is if I were to put this, use this as my shape and run it around here with a bevel profile, because I only have uh, four vertices, it's going to try to align this thing with the first point in this, okay? the first vertex, that yellow vertex there is your first vertex. So it's going to try to align that with the first vertex over here. And I'm just going to put another edit spline on this. And you can see this yellow vertex right now is my first vertex. So what that means is it's going to align this diagonally and it's going to be kind of hard to control. So what I want to do is add an extra vertice by clicking on refine and turning on my snaps midpoint and just coming up here under refine, click on this and it creates a new vertice here. Okay, then I just want to make sure that that is my first vertice. So I'm going to click on that and say make first and then I'm going to right click and make sure it's a corner vertice. Okay, now I got a first vertice here. Let's see, there's my number one vertice. And I've got my number one vertice on my sweep or my profile as right here. Now, what that's going to do is line up number one to number one. So it's actually going to create a bigger profile than I want. So I'm going to actually have to move this once I create this. So here's what I do. I just select the rectangle, go up to my modifiers and add a bevel profile. Click on pick profile and select this profile and you can see already it jumped out. This is actually where the edge of my panel should be. So I can go into my sub object editing here, select my profile, and you can see I can actually just move this thing. 
okay um, what I need to do is move it a little bit actually the length of this which is six inches so I can just type in here six inches okay and now I've got exactly the right size that I wanted and you can see it's pretty nice little profile here just got a little round over there okay that's all there is to it Oops, get that around the other side Okay, so uh, I have a wall panel over here. Uh, it's just a couple rectangles. And I just want to extrude these into an actual wall panel. So I'm going to add an extrude modifier. And six inches is fine. And now I just want to move this over and attach it to this. sure my snaps back on it's looking for a vertex okay and I'm just snapping that point there and dropping it into there okay and I'm gonna add another modifier here uh, we want to edit poly and I want to attach this and the wall and actually name this wall panel and probably want to just make sure that I have these vertices welded so that they're now part of the wall and they won't separate if I do anything to this and uh, Okay, so maybe I want to add a material now. So I go over to my material editor and I've got a wood a wood paint here. And I just want to come up and edit the color of this. And I'm going to make it uh, kind of a beigey. somewhere in there okay then I just wanna assign this and there's my wood material and I could adjust that if I needed to enable bump map enable ambient occlusion to bring out the shadows in this if I wanted to I could round the corners on this anything that's within that is going to get rounded and that's pretty much it and now I've got a nice wall panel that I could array down the wall so that's pretty much it this is the uh, bevel profile in 3D Studio Max I'm Bill McCown for Synergist Technologies I hope you enjoyed the tutorial thanks for watching I'll see you next time